Hi, I'm Russell Anderson, Breakthrough Energy Movement Conference 2012, Hilversum, Holland. I got into uh, new energy and free energy and magnetic motors, I guess about 30 years ago, in 1982, when I was in college, and been studying them ever since. And uh, I've had a lot of success with working on anti gravity drives and uh, magnetic motors. And the main thing is what Breakthrough energy represents is freedom. Magnetic motors are part of that. Magnetic motors are easy to build if you have the facilities and know-how. They follow generally accepted laws of mathematics and uh, they provide freedom in terms of if you have, well, what we had recently was a very devastating hurricane in my region of the country and many people are still without power. If they had a magnetic motor generator in their apartment or home, they could be free from suffering. And what Breakthrough Energy basically represents is freedom from pollution, freedom from high energy bills, and freedom from the tyranny of the uh, oil companies and the utilities. Breakthrough Energy represents basically a, what it says, a break from the old ways of doing things into what we should have had decades ago. Breakthrough Energy represents freedom and more money in the pockets of people, everyday people who really need it. Money that could be either saved or put back into the economy for more goods and services, which would mean more jobs, more opportunities, and a restored economy. Breakthrough energy means freedom. It means energy independence. It means freedom from foreign oil. It means freedom from a world that is uh, going to heck because of pollution and global warming and uh, superstorms caused by global warming. Magnetic motors by Troy Reed who powers his car on his magnetic motor and Joe Newman and I represent Searle Technologies. I've been working with Professor John R. R. Searle for the past five years on his electrogravity disk powered by his Searle effect generator or SEG and my goal, my job, is to bring this technology into the world for aerospace, private use, and to get us into a spacefaring mode where we're a spacefaring society. We're not fettered to the earth. John Searle's magnetic motor, SEG, is really the uh, one of the original magnetic motors, even though the technology goes way back. The numerical systems, vortex mathematics, law of the squares, I'll show you how you can build magnetic motors very easily and exactly so they will work every time. Many people when they build magnetic motors or start to uh, experiment they give up after a short while in frustration but if you know what you're doing if you don't give up if you just do trial and error and uh, study the vortex mathematics and law of the squares you can build magnetic motors that will work and that will provide electricity and torque thing about magnets, they are gate pumps for the ether or cosmic energy which pervades our universe. Vacuum is pure charge without mass, a Lawrence invariant non-material ether that is more energy than we can ever imagine. One cubic meter of it can boil off all our oceans. So you can imagine with just uh, a little efficiency and design, you can design magnetic motors that will work and they'll work for a long time. And rare earth magnets retain their charge. They don't demagnetize with time. So rare earth magnets are perfect for magnetic motors, magic motors, and generators. So if you want to build magnetic motors that will run for 30, 40, 50, 60 years, rare earth magnets are the way to go. And Professor Searle was util utilizing rare earth material way back in the 1940s. And uh, once the magnet companies found out that you could make the biggest well, the most powerful, not the biggest, but the most powerful magnets on Earth, they raise the prices of rare earths. And uh, most rare earth magnets are made with neodymium. And uh, there are ways to get neodymium from almost any device now. There, there are processes from any device that uses them, but uh, they're, they're not rare. There are mountains of them all over the world. Just have to know where to find them. But anyway, hope to see you soon at the Breakthrough Energy Conference in Hilversum, Holland. Thank you for your time.